all right what's up guys welcome back to another amazing video thank you so much for watching on this video i'm gonna be talking about zen boy does it look very rough out here in the street and i'm not gonna lie to you it is very scary and it's all over the place extreme fear is right now pretty much taking over as you guys see on the screen i am currently claiming my pls zen um i have pretty much zen claimable every single day on this wallet it's 128 vmus i think i claimed five vmus on another wallet and i have another 128 as well claimable in about four hours give or take around midnight so i'm claiming and i'm holding i'm burning on evmos i'm taking over my funds every single place i go to it is all about zen right now in my opinion it's to the point to where you just shouldn't care about the price okay what you need to care about is how much you are willing to mint how much you're willing to buy how much you're willing to put in patience wise for you to change your life in the future look at maya she says mint mint away i didn't say that maya did that way in case something happens, it wasn't on me. You, you can blame Maya, but not me. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, thank you all the comments in the previous video saying, hey, Maya, we love you, all that great stuff. I absolutely love it, man. So keep the comments coming, man. It's Maya, M-A-Y-A. By the way, I see a lot of you guys spelling it M-I-A. Close enough. I, I, I'll let y'all slide on that one. But if you guys don't mind, click the like button, subscribe, comment, be a member, join up. Let's grow the community. We are close to 8,000 subscribers, and I'm going to continue pushing content. As you guys see on the title of the video, it's going to be giving you guys my own personal opinion about which ones I think you should be out here minting, taking advantage of the pretty much the kind of crappy prize, crappy little place that Zen is at right now. But it, in my opinion, I think it is only for a short time period that we have to deal with all this. I feel like all, all pretty much all the altcoins go through this difficult scenario before it goes into a crazy parabolic move. And I don't mind it, man. I don't care. At these prices, at the worst dump that it can be at, I'm going to continue grinding the videos. You guys enjoy it. I'm going to try my best. To continue pushing out content for the zen community for you guys to enjoy whether it be st strategy videos technical analysis i don't know <laughs> trying to talk as much good i can in one video whatever it'll take i will try to do it okay trying to get everybody's you know hopium in there and skyrocket it and hopefully do good into the price so the pr pretty much the blockchains that in my opinion we need to start going heavy on which i already started doing is these three right here optimism base network and pulse chain then three are the ones that we really need to look on especially optimism okay I'm not going in as heavy yet on optimism. Be what did I say? On optim I, I over-exaggerated the O, apparently. But optimism, I'm holding off just a little bit. I'm minting, you know, I'm scattering a little bit. But $250 to $350 per Zentarion right now, it's still too pricey. In my own personal opinion, I think it can be a lot cheaper. I'm going heavy right now on base network and on pulse chain the th reason why i'm saying them three is because these three networks their zen is the only three that have not created or done a crazy price action it is due when is it going to happen we have no idea i cannot predict that that's why i'm gonna try to tell you and pretty much mention that scattering your term days is the best outcome I have been trying to do every day to every other day on all networks. Of course, it really does depend on how much the gas fee it is to be able to do this, as well as how much I'm willing to invest and, and lose pretty much all of that stuff combined. Okay. Yeah. The, of course the price under uh, the ERC 20 is pretty crappy, but Hey, you guys should have seen yesterday's video. I'm trying. I told you guys that's my prediction, and I hope it comes true. Okay, 
If you watched it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. History does not like to repeat itself, but it sure does like to rhyme. If you know, you know. Guys, Diamond Hands, all right? We have seen Phantom. We've seen Polygon. We have seen buying all of the tokens, the pretty much the OG ones, have done some crazy amount of gains around the first period of this year, 2023. The newest ones, Pulse Chain, Optimism, Base Network, them three have not even done nowhere near what happened in the first quarter of this year that could easily change in a flip of a switch and i need you guys to be prepared have terms ready we don't know if it's going to be on day 200 since launch that's since genesis launch that's what i'm trying to pretty much get into the date of since genesis launch we don't know if it's going to be day 200 day 250 day 300 day 100 we don't know that exactly that is why I want to tell you guys to make sure you scatter all over the place, man. Have some scattered every three days since the max term days and drop it all the way down to 100 days. I don't know. Do every 10 days if you have to. That way, in case we pump in one of these blockchains, I don't know which one's going to come first. It could happen on all three or it can happen on only one. But if you have your term days scattered... If the pump happens on, let's say, Optimism on day 90, you will have mints ready there. It is, let's say you're mint right now at these current prices on Optimism. It's, let's say, $2, okay? Just an example. Let's say it's worth $2 for what you are going to claim right now, right? But you can't claim it because it's not claimable. But let's say in 90 days, that price ends up skyrocketing. That $2 worth today... That day it pumps, it could be worth 20. It could be worth 50. It could be worth five. You know, something like that. That's gains. That's profit. You can f pretty much get them profits and go ahead and mint more, uh, secure profit, pay bills, enjoy a vacation, whatever you want to do, right? That's what we are trying to pretty much stay ahead of the game, okay? We're trying our best to minimize our losses, trying to get as many gains as we can, trying to, you know, strategize our best scenario possible. And I really do think Optimism, Pulse Chain, and Base have the best ways in which we could be some crazy gains in a flip of a switch. So it's, I've always said this, it's always really good to scatter your funds around. If you have more than 100 Zen NFTs in one wallet, I would suggest you guys dividing it and send over your Zen NFTs over to more wallets. The more you have, the slower it'll get. You'll have difficulty claiming. You'll have difficulty even sending funds. You'll, you will even start to experience your funds and your wallet starting to get stuck transactions so in order to prevent that that way you won't have any issues have it have less than 100 zen nfts in one wallet per network i do think that's going to be the best outcome that way you guys can enjoy it and have a smooth claiming a smooth zen minting all the way around okay so guys that's my own opinion you know if you want to take advantage of that great you know if you don't know how to get optimism eth use conga exchange i'll leave i'll leave the conga exchange down there in the description just create your wallet send over regular eth or polygon or whatever sell it to eth and once when it, whenever you want to withdraw just make sure you change the network to optimism eth and you'll get the eth on optimism it's just super easy to do you don't got to deal with the bridge fees even though ethereum gas fees is at six guay literally it's crazy you got to take advantage of that as well I was doing some base network Zen NFT mints and I paid 11 cents, 11 to 13 cents for a Zentarion. Imagine that. It's crazy. You know, a lot of you, actually one of you guys, only one person commented down below in a previous video. Yes. Was it yesterday or two days ago? And they said it's $2 to, to do a Zentarion on base. Stop lying. Why would I lie? I'm not lying, guys. Literally, if you are in the right, in the perfect scenario and you have the right alerts on your phone or a software or on your computer, or if you're checking the gas every now and then, you can really do some Zenturion max style everything on base and you will pay 11 cents per 
NFT. Okay, so you just keep that in mind. Start watching it because I did a lot of mints at around 11 to 13 cents. I'm very proud of that because, yes, sometimes it is $2 per NFT. Then the other one's about 11, 15, 20 cents. So you got to be smart. You got to take advantage. You got to be strategizing everywhere. You got to know your way around, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Take it easy. I'm out. Peace.